Inside the reproductive system, the journey of sperm begins long before any single cell reaches an egg. Although millions of sperm may enter the vagina after ejaculation, only a very small number make it anywhere near the egg. One of the most important reasons for this is the presence of cervical mucus, a fluid produced in the cervix that constantly changes in response to hormones. This mucus is not just a passive liquid. It behaves almost like a living filter, guiding, nourishing, and selecting, which sperm have a chance of survival. Understanding how this works helps explain why fertilization is much more than a simple meeting of egg and sperm. It is a carefully coordinated process in which the female reproductive system plays an active role. Cervical mucus changes throughout the menstrual cycle. At the beginning of the cycle, right after a period, the mucus is thick, sticky, and minimal. This kind of mucus blocks sperm, bacteria, and other particles from entering the uterus. It acts like a natural barrier and keeps the environment stable. As the body moves toward ovulation, the hormone estrogen rises. Estrogen causes the mucus to become more abundant and gradually thinner. This thinning is not accidental. It creates a more welcoming environment for sperm that enter during this fertile window. When ovulation approaches, the mucus becomes stretchy, slippery, and clearer, often compared to raw egg white. This type of mucus is called fertile mucus because it supports the survival and movement of sperm. The structure of the mucus at this time is organized in channels, tiny pathways that align themselves in a way that encourages sperm to swim upward. These channels are microscopic, but they guide sperm toward the cervix and ultimately the uterus. Without this change in mucus, sperm would struggle to move through the reproductive tract. In this way, the mucus acts like a highway that forms only during the most fertile days. Once sperm enter the vagina, they face immediate challenges. The vagina is naturally acidic, a feature that protects against infections but is harsh on sperm. Many sperm do not survive even the first few minutes in this environment. However, fertile cervical mucus helps shield sperm from the acidic conditions. As sperm travel into the cervical canal, the mucus coats and protects them, giving them a chance to continue. This protective role is essential because sperm are delicate. They cannot tolerate abrupt temperature changes, dehydration, or chemical imbalances. The mucus creates a stable, hydrated space where sperm can adjust and recover. But protection is only part of the story. Cervical mucus also plays a major role in selection. Not all sperm that enter the vagina are healthy or capable of fertilizing an egg. Some have irregular shapes, damaged tails, or genetic problems. The fertile mucus works a bit like a quality control system. It allows strong, healthy sperm to move through while slowing down or trapping sperm that are less fit. Sperm with proper structure and strong swimming ability align with the mucus channels and move forward smoothly. Sperm that are weak or misshapen cannot follow the channels effectively. They either get stuck, move slowly, or die off before they can reach the uterus. The mucus not only tests physical structure, but also responds to chemical signals from sperm. Healthy sperm release certain molecules that interact with the mucus, allowing them to move more easily. Sperm that lack these signals struggle. This means the mucus is not just a physical filter, but a biochemical one. It can detect subtle differences between sperm, improving the chances that only those with the best potential for fertilization make it farther into the reproductive tract. During the fertile window, the mucus also serves another important role. It becomes a temporary storage space. Some sperm enter the cervical canal and settle into small pockets within the mucus called crypts. These crypts can keep sperm alive for several days. In fact, sperm can survive up to five days in fertile cervical mucus, waiting for the egg to be released. This storage ability extends the fertile period and increases the chances of fertilization even if intercourse does not occur exactly on the day of ovulation. The mucus controls which sperm enter these crypts, again favoring those that are healthier and more active. After ovulation, another hormonal shift occurs. Progesterone becomes the dominant hormone. Under the influence of progesterone, the cervical mucus changes again. It thickens and becomes sticky or even clumpy. This new form of mucus closes the cervical canal and blocks sperm from entering. At this stage, the body is no longer trying to attract sperm because the fertile window has passed. Instead, it shifts into a protective mode, 
preventing sperm, bacteria, and other particles from moving upward. This process shows how tightly regulated the system is. Every change in the mucus has a purpose, either opening the path for sperm or sealing it off. If sperm do reach the uterus and eventually the fallopian tubes, they continue to face challenges, but the early filtering done by cervical mucus greatly increases the chances that the sperm reaching this point are genetically sound and strong. This selection process benefits both potential parents by reducing the likelihood of fertilization by damaged or poor quality sperm. It also protects the reproductive system from harmful microbes because only during a very specific window does the mucus allow easier passage, and even then it remains selective. Problems with cervical mucus can affect fertility. If the mucus remains thick and hostile during the time it should be thin and fertile, sperm will have trouble passing through. This can occur due to low estrogen levels, hormonal imbalances, certain medications, or infections that change the consistency of the mucus. On the other hand, if the mucus does not thicken properly after ovulation, the cervix is left vulnerable to infection. Some women naturally produce very little mucus, while others may produce mucus that becomes too acidic or contains antibodies that mistakenly attack sperm. Understanding these issues helps explain why cervical mucus is often examined when couples face fertility challenges. Even though cervical mucus may seem like a simple fluid, its structure is surprisingly complex. It contains water, salts, proteins, and special molecules that change shape depending on hormone levels. During fertile days, the proteins arrange themselves into long, parallel strands that act like supportive rails for sperm. Between these strands are pores just wide enough for healthy sperm to pass through. Sperm with abnormal heads or weak movement cannot navigate these narrow, organized pathways. After ovulation, the protein structure becomes random and tangled, forming a tight mesh that blocks movement entirely. This flexible architecture helps the body shift instantly between allowing and preventing passage. Another interesting aspect is that sperm respond to signals from cervical mucus as well. When healthy sperm enter fertile mucus, their movement often becomes faster and more focused, a change called hyperactivation. This shift helps them swim more forcefully toward the uterus. The mucus essentially activates them, giving them the final boost needed for their long journey. Without this interaction, sperm might not develop the strong movement required to reach the egg. During the entire process, Cervical mucus also supports sperm health by maintaining hydration, providing sugars for energy, and preventing premature reactions. Sperm must undergo a transformation called capacitation, in which their membranes become ready to fuse with an egg. Fertile cervical mucus helps control the timing of this transformation. If capacitation happens too early or too late, fertilization becomes unlikely. By influencing this timing, the mucus ensures sperm are in the right condition when they finally reach the egg. All these steps show that sperm selection is not random. The female reproductive system plays an active, intelligent, and dynamic role in choosing which sperm succeed. The cervical mucus acts as a protective gate, a nourishment source, a filter, a storage space, and a guide. It supports the healthiest sperm while letting natural barriers eliminate those that are not suitable. This process increases the chances of healthy conception and reflects the delicate balance of the body's reproductive design. Through its constantly shifting structure and chemistry, cervical mucus helps create the ideal pathway for sperm while also ensuring that only the strongest and best adapted sperm continue forward. The journey may begin with millions, but by the time the mucus has completed its selection, only a select group remains. This shows how deeply coordinated fertility is and how much depends on the harmony between sperm and cervical mucus long before an egg is ever reached.